Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create this super cool and super easy parallax text reveal right in PowerPoint. So let's jump right into it to learn how to do it. So we're just going to start by inputting some text and you can change the slide layout to blank as well. So I'm just going to write parallax as that's the effect that we're going to be doing today. We can also format it by choosing the font poppins and then bolding it and making it bigger and I'm going to make it 96. We can also center it by going center, align, center, shape format, align center and align middle. So that just gets us it, it, right in the middle. We can fix that later if it's too high or too low, but right now that's fine. We're also going to make the text white as that's the last, last font color. And this makes it invisible since the, tech, the slide is right now white, but we can add a shadow so that we can see it. So you can just go text effects, shadow, and we're just going to choose this bottom one and then you can just go more shadow options and change the transparency to 20. So that gets us our parallax, you can sort of see it, but once we add all the different layers, we'll be able to see the text way more clearly. We can also format the background to make it orange accent too, just to get that light sort of orange sort of tone. And now what we need is four or so different layers. So if you've already got your layers, that's really good. So for example, I've got a forest layer here, that I can use um, but if you don't that's fine um, we can just create our custom shapes which is what I'm going to be showing you how to do now so you can just draw a rectangle which encompasses the width of the slide and then you can go shape format edit shape and edit points so you can see now I can just click wherever and just create a point now each of these sort of like vertices have this white um, this white rectangle or square that you can pull and it does weird things and just click on each of them and you can get this sort of hill shape and pull this across etc so that's sort of what I would do um, for a hill shape but you can make it even more complicated for example by going back into the edit points and creating like a mountain for example like, like that that doesn't look very good but you it's quite easy to edit th these sort of things so so it shouldn't take you too long and you just basically want to make three more layers or four if you don't have your first layer there. So I've already got mine. I can just copy and paste them in and there is mine. And if you want to know how to get these sort of shadows, all I get, did was just take an oval and just put it next to these, these whole, the hollow bits of our 2D shape. So now we've got our parallax effect almost ready. We just need to send our text back once so that it's basically behind the top two layers. You can see that this layers, these two layers are slightly covering it. And we just need two slides to get this really simple effect. And all you need to do is just copy and paste it. And then on the second slide, you go transitions, you go morph, and then we can add, change the duration to 0.5. Now in the first slide, this is what we're going to change. We're going to move our, our um, the back shape up really slightly we can just use the the, the up keys um, and same with the orange that's not going to go up too much now the dark red will be covering the the text and then this wood will be covering the entire slide so now if i show you the animation as we've got so far that's the sort of effect we want but the text is still slightly too too low so we can just use the arrow keys to, to get it up slightly and it just takes a bit of fiddling around for this to work and then finally we have this last parallax effect that you can get really simply using the morph transition and four different layers with your text so if you enjoyed this video and found it useful make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below thanks for watching and i'll see you next time